there are numerous examples of successful, but with a small society, I think one of the most important examples is from Chaco Canyon, New Mexico, where the Pueblo Indians, about 1,200 years ago, built a series of large pueblos which became major ceremonial centers. And then in about 1040 AD, there was a 50-year drought. And this is not an area where agriculture is easy, even if there's plentiful rain. And they moved away. The society did not collapse. They were fine. But family by family, household by household, they moved away. They went to live with relatives in other communities who had rain and more food. And society continued because the people to whom they moved knew that if they had a problem, they could have moved to them. It is a, a situation of exchange. So it was a successful adaptation based on relationships, on family relationships, on kinship. Another interesting example is ancient Egypt, which in 2180 BC experienced a 100-year drought, which led to much less plentiful floods of the Nile. The result was that a powerful state ruled by a king who told everybody who was a god then that he controlled the floods and food supplies collapsed because he could not feed the people. And Egypt became a series of small kingdoms ruled by very competent leaders who fed their people by controlling the frontiers, rationing food, and so on. It took a hundred years for Egypt to come back again. But when he came back, the pharaohs had learned a lesson. They now called themselves not gods, but shepherds of the people. And at the same time, they invested heavily in irrigation agriculture, and they also invested in food storage. So if there was a time of shortage, they could feed the people. And as a result, Egyptian civilization lasted for 2,000 more years. <laughs>